Hey, what's going on everyone? Smelly Josh here, and today I'm just going to be talking about redstone loops or patterns or clocks or whatever you want to call them. Redstone clocks, I guess, is what you would say, I think, um, today real quick. Um, you would just use these if you want something to be continuously done with a redstone without having to like constantly hit a switch or button, I guess it would be. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I do my, my clocks. I put down the repeaters down just like this, and then I put the redstone here on each corner. Oh, did I just fall? Okay, that's... <laughs> okay, so you do that, and you put the redstones in each quarter, corner, and then you want to turn these uh, one tick down, and then you're just going to put a torch here on the end, break it, and as you can see, the... Uh, the <laughs> I can't talk right now. The circuit uh, loops itself around and around, so what you can do is you can have something coming off it, and as you see, you'll get a pulse of whatever you want to call it continuously, and you can change up the, the speed. This is why I like this pattern the most, because you have a very uh, wide option of speeds to go with this type of pattern, but it's, not, it's probably not the most um, space-effective setup, but I enjoy it. So, I mean, you may ask, like, what would you use this kind of stuff for? I have a couple examples set up for you here. Just turn this one on. Bam. As you can see here, let me turn the volume up right quick. As you can see, it just keeps looping, and it keeps hitting the note blocks over and over again. That's basically what clocks do. They just keep going until you turn them off. Right. Okay, so I have a couple other cool examples here. I have this one set up with a button, so I think it's still set up. When I hit the button, it sends the pulse to the clock, and then the clock continuously keeps going. Yeah, so as you can see here, this is going to keep shooting until I go and turn the clock off. So, as you can see it back here, I have it all set up, it goes round and round, and it sends the pulse to the dispensers, which shoots the arrows out. And over here, I have another one set up with the button that turns it on, and the pistons go push these bad boys up and down, as you can see down here. And that's how that works. So that's how you do a simple, basic uh, redstone clock. I hope that helped anyone out looking to see how it's done. I'm sure most people know how to do this, but I know there's a bunch of new Minecrafters out there who probably don't know how. And I figure this is a pretty straightforward, this is a simple design, so... Anyway, so thanks for watching. If this helps you out, please leave a comment saying so, and subscribe, and don't forget to thumbs up, of course. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.